A woman locked up on a murder charge for 27 years will soon be free after new information surfaces. Thanks for staying with us, everybody. I'm Darren Kramer. I'm Sonia Baghdadi. Today, 66-year-old Bonnie Jean Forshaw was granted clemency after serving 27 years in prison for the premeditated murder of a pregnant woman in Hartford. Jose Tina Detail has more from the Gates Correctional Institution. When Bonnie Forshaw walked into this hearing room, she was scheduled to get out of prison in 2017. She's here to try to change that. The fear of being abused, the fear that made me carry a gun, the fear that I was going to be hurt. Bonnie Forshaw's admission and explanation were met with doubt by the family of Joyce Amos. She was six months pregnant when Forshaw shot and killed her as she tried to intervene when Hector Freeman threatened Forshaw outside a Hartford bar in March 1986. I believe that using the excuse that she was abused and scared because of previous relationships didn't in any way, shape, or form inhibit Forshaw from calling the police if she felt threatened. Forshaw had been abused by three husbands and raped when she was 12. Her mental state was never entered in her defense, and many felt she should have been convicted of manslaughter, not murder. Among those critical of her defense, Judge John Blue, who at the time was a public defender. I read the transcript, and I developed the concerns that are stated in the memorandum. Grant. The Board of Pardons and Paroles unanimously granted her clemency. We're happy to have Bonnie coming back home to us. Forshaw will be released from prison November 15th. I don't feel the decision was correct. I love and miss my sister. She was a beautiful person. And again, we're going to abide by what the board said. My whole family has been very upset with the ordeal for both families, not just my family, but both families has been upset. And um, if there's anything we can do, just give us a call. As it is, Forshaw is the longest serving female prisoner in the state. In Niantic, Tina Detell, News 8.